All right, folks, from the shop today, and we're gonna be working on oiling my work boots. So these are steel toe eight inch conductor work boots by Justin Boots. I've had these for several months now. They were actually given to me uh, by a friend from church who bought them for work, but then didn't like the way they fit. Uh, I've been using them pretty much every day, every other day for a few months, and it's time to oil them up. So I've got some Phoebe's mink oil from Tractor Supply. Got a horsehair boot brush, got an old sheet, and a rubber glove. So basically, to do this, you're just going to take your boot brush, and this really could even be just a rag. Uh, and we're just going to brush these off and try to get some of that loose dirt off there. You don't want to oil them when they're dirty because that oil will stick with that dirt and it'll just kind of stay on there. So you want to get them good and clean before you oil them. We're just gonna brush down every piece of these. All right, so now that they're brushed off, step two is to actually oil them. So I've got on a rubber glove for this, just to keep my hands clean. And this is Phoebe's Golden Mink Oil. And I bought this at Tractor Supply in kind of the horse tack area. And it's just mink oil. And it is known to be what you use for boots. And it's gonna waterproof them and just kind of make that leather last longer because leather being a natural material just like a wooden axe handle or hammer handle it needs to be oiled every so often just to keep it in good shape we're gonna focus on the seams too we want to get plenty of oil on the seams because when the boots get wet <clears throat> that being a thicker area and kind of having that shelf there uh, it's gonna get some extra moisture on that. Now, one word of warning, this is gonna darken your boots some. So I'm not worried about that because these are work boots and I would rather be a little bit darker and be waterproof. Plus, I like dark weather, so. That doesn't bother me. But if you're worried about that, you may want to look into a different option. Got that steel toe really good because that area gets a lot of wear and tear. And then the leg of the boot on a taller lace up boot like this that's pretty much always covered by your pants. And so it stays in really good shape. Doesn't get scuffed up and wet all the time. But I am gonna put a little bit on there. And then we'll get the laces out of the way. And work on the tongue. Now, you can put this on the tongue of your boots, but don't put it on your tongue because that's just not a good idea. All right, so that boot is oiled up, and we're just going to let that sit while we put oil on our other boot, and then we'll wipe it down with a dry towel. All right, y'all, so I got the boots oiled up. This is the one we did first, so we're going to wipe it off first. And one thing I found doing these is you want to make sure you get this area down in here really, really good. And don't forget that because it's kind of hidden and out of the way. Getting down in there, and uh, yeah. So we're just gonna kind of go over this with a dry, soft rag. This is actually an old sheet. Just, we're using it for a shop rag, but it's nice and clean. And we're not gonna wipe every stitch of it off. We're just gonna kind of give it a rub down. Everything that didn't soak into the leather. And that's gonna be pretty good. All right, so we're just, getting these things wiped down good and i noticed there are several little scratches and cuts on the toe of these boots and this oil kind of helped hide those and heal them a little bit so that's pretty cool we got this one all up real good 
wipe down nice. All right, so now we got that one done. This one's have plenty of time to soak in. And we can oil this boot now. And th this is really a good thing to do because leather needs to be taken care of. And if you oil it, that's one of the best things you can do for it. And it'll last for a very, very long time when you treat it right like this. <clears throat> So if you think that doing this every couple months will make your boots last a couple extra years, that's a pretty good, pretty good deal right there. All right, guys, so the boots are done. They look really, really good. They are a little bit darker, but you know, a couple months from now after wearing them around and getting, getting them dirty and just that oil kind of evaporates and dries out, they're gonna go back to the way they were and then they'll be ready to oil again. That's just a good maintenance thing to do to your work boots every so often. Now be careful when you're doing this because, I mean, this mink oil works for this kind of leather, but there may be some kind of leather like suede that it's not good for. So just do your research before you do your boots to make sure that it's gonna work for you. So they turned out really good. And yeah, I'll be doing this every so often. Keep these boots in working order for a long time to come. Thanks y'all.